Hi everybody, it's Dominic Sky. I heard a lot of times that you cannot get a big bicep doing calisthenics. It can be done, it's something I heard a lot. The problem is, most of the people when they start doing calisthenics, they don't know how to target the bicep specifically. For example, most of the beginners, they're doing a lot of pull-ups, you know, but the problem with the pull-up is pronated rib. So when your palm is pronated, you actually exclude the bicep and the brachialis is doing most of the work. You can try this for yourself. Just have your arm like this, and then try to supinate your hand. Look what happens, boom. The bicep gets activated, boom. So you can see the difference. So if you want to get a big bicep, I suggest doing chin-ups, not on the rings, actually on the bar. That way your palm is always supinated and the bicep will be doing a lot of work. But I have something even better for you guys. So now we will try to target the bicep specifically using the Pelican push-up. For the first variation, we're simply gonna use two chairs. So we go up here into the support position, turn the palm outside like this, and then simply perform a push-up. Boom, so that's a push-up. And from here, we're gonna lower down, extend the bicep, and pull back up to here, and finish the push-up. So again, push-up, extend the arm, Pull back up and go all the way up. Go as far down as you feel comfortable. Make sure to always maintain posterior pelvic tilt and hollow position. So shoulders depressed, nice hollow position. Pull back up. So make sure this doesn't happen. This is not the same thing. We need to make sure we are in a nice straight line, performing a push-up and then just going as far down as we feel comfortable and pulling back up here, boom. Then we will move on to the rings and try half pelican push-up on the rings. On the rings it's very important to maintain the false grip. So when we perform a push-up we go down, so when you go down make sure you have a strong false grip. If your false grip lets go it's gonna be very hard to pull from this position, extremely hard. Yes, it can be done as a harder variation later on, but for now, try it with false grip. So like this. Everything else, exactly the same. Also make sure in the support position to have the rings turned out like this. From here, perform a push-up up to here and then extend just as far as you can go comfortably and pull back up to here and press all the way up. So again, first push-up hollow position, posterior pelvic tilt, pull up to here, press all the way up. So again, boom. Once you progress, it's time to try the full pelican push-up on the rings. When you're doing pelican push-ups, make sure your feet are almost on the same height as the rings, because if you have your feet all the way down, that's a little bit easier. Uh, here, we're trying to go all the way down, so extending the arm completely, if that's possible. If not, just go as far as you can go and then pull back up. The beginning of the pull is really the hardest thing, but that's also the money maker. So let's give them a try. So support position, perform a push up, extend the arms as far as you can go and pull back up. Boom. Boom. Again, make sure to maintain nice posterior pelvic tilt all throughout the movement. Make sure to grab the rings really hard so you can maintain that false grip and really just perform the movement slow and controlled. Don't rush into it right away back down. Uh, it's a difficult move, so yeah, just take it slow, controlled and enjoy practicing it. So that was the Pelican push-up. If you want to implement this into your training, I suggest choose a progression. You can perform five to eight good reps and do five to 10 sets of whichever progression of the Pelican push-up and finish up with a few sets of bar chin-ups to really burn out that bicep. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, good luck training your bicep. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Subscribe me on YouTube and I'll see you guys next week with a vlog. Peace.